Hi, this is Corey from Keen Ramps, and today we're going to show you how to assemble a slat pad. So if you place an order, uh, you will be getting a box just like this, shipped to your doorstep. Weighs about 80 pounds, a little on the heavy side, so definitely uh, careful with your back when you're moving it. Use your legs, pick it up, or have a friend help you. Um, so first we're going to cut it open right here. Hold this back. And right on top you have the three ply layers. The first thing that you'll see here. And then we have the birch, the top layer. Two sheets for that. Followed by the sides. screws, got some long ones, two and a half inch, as well as the shorter inch and five eighths. About two thin pieces of birch. These go on the sides. A little thin strip of birch to make our coping flush. And then we have our one by two coping for the non-slappy side. Our round coping for the slappy side. Two by fours, should be five by four. They're cut to four foot ten and a half. And that's everything. We get this box out of the way. So the first thing you're going to want to do is use the long screws, the two and a half inch ones and preload them into the yellow end caps. So all you need to assemble is a drill. I like the uh, impact drills. I got a Makita here. They give a little extra torque. You can use a, a standard drill as well. Get our screws out here and then basically just do a couple turns in to get them started. That's going to make it go together later on a little bit faster. Okay, so now we have our two and a half inch screws preloaded into the sides, ready for two by four attachment. You can pretty much start wherever you want. I like to start with this one here. Make sure that this is as flush as possible. If it's a little bit off, no worries. You can Sometimes use the butt of your drill to kind of knock it straight where you want it before you attach that second screw. This one here, underneath the square coping, is going to be uh, horizontal instead of vertical like these ones. You want to get it flush with the lower part here. So I've got this whole side attached, all my two by fours. I'm gonna go ahead and attach my coping at this time as well. So now this is all lined up, coping in place. So I can go ahead and sink this screw over here into the two by two that is attached to the bottom of the coping. Okay, so all of my ribs are in place, attached from both ends with the two and a half inch screws. My coping is in place here. And next I'm going to attach my one by two rectangular coping. So there's some nice little grooves. Uh, just sits right in there. Make sure that it's tight. Make sure you have a similar um, reveal on both sides. I have like about a sixteenth there, sixteenth there. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, three more of those two and a half inch screws and sink it down into this two by four. So 
Now that that's in, you'll notice that there's about a quarter inch difference from this two by four to the edge of this three quarter. And that's what this thin little birch strip is for. That's gonna just sit right here. And now when we put our next layer on of uh, three eighths, everything will sit flush. So I'm gonna rest that right in there. There's really no need to even attach this with screws because our other layers are gonna go through it. So that's just kind of sitting there and we're ready to put on our three eighths. So here's the three eighths. You'll notice some stickers um, saying that there's a joint. That's for the middle. One goes here. This one goes here. My joint stickers are pointing to each other for the center. And there's these little blue dots that look like a little bingo stamp. And we're gonna use the shorter screws, the one and five eighth inch, and go into those little blue dots. Okay, so now our three eighths is all attached here, ready for the top layer of birch. With the birch, these two pieces are identical. Um, you'll notice that this side has about an inch gap, whereas this side is right on the edge of this seam. So just like we did with our 3 8 layers, uh, we're going to have the ones that are tighter to the edge be our middle joint. So this one, one inch down here, tight on the seam, right there. This one, tight on the seam, one inch edge here and here and then I'm just gonna kind of put them right where I want them make sure these edges feel nice nice and flush okay I like that right there so I'm gonna go ahead and attach these again using the shorter of the two one and five eighth inch screws So our top layer of birch is attached. We have the two pieces here. Nice flush seam going the same direction that we're going to be skating it. So it'll never bother us. And next we're going to put the base board on. So you'll notice here that there's two different strips that are five and three quarters by 60 inches long. The only difference between these, one of them has countersinks that are closer together, whereas the other side are further apart. The ones that are closer together go on the slap side. So right there. So we're gonna attach those using the inch and five eighths. So here it's gonna be really important to keep this piece of birch tight on the coping. If you have a little gap at the floor, that's okay. Your wheels are never gonna get in that little gap there. So make sure that this is tight right here. So now that I have this side, I'm going to go over to the other side, tack that one, and then fill in the remaining. So our front face is on for the slappy side. Feels nice right there. Like I said, this uh, piece of birch tied on the coping so we can jam up onto there and get on for some slappy grinds. And now we're going to flip it around and attach the other side. So with our inch and 5 8 screws, I'm going to put this right here. Make sure that we're tight in the coping. Go ahead and start with this corner. We'll go ahead and do the other corner. And then fill in the remaining. So there you have it. We assembled the slappy ledge. It should take about 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, and we're just gonna kind of spin it around, sort of inspect it. We got our handle cutouts here to move it around. Flush right there. Coping here has a little bit of a bump just to make the grinds more favorable. Seams right here overlapping ever so much. Here on our slappy side, this piece tied on the coping. Feels good, everything's secure. 
And yeah, this thing is ready to skate. So thank you for choosing Keen Ramps, and we hope you enjoy your sloppy pad. Please tune into our YouTube for more videos and check out our website for new obstacles. Thank you for the support and have fun.